now back to G.I. Joe. Frank, get me an update on Star Wars CCG. Grab me a sandwich on your way over. I'm starving. How about I get you a nice ben in a cream pie? Ben in a cream pie oh, this makes me happy. Hey, I can't seem to find anything but Tarkin Seekers. Can you help a brother out? Say what? If I pull another Seeker, I might as well just eat horse poop. There is something really deadly about the Japanese Premier Pack. I always pull Vader. What's going on, Star Wars collectible card game collectors and fans? We are here with our infamous Japanese premiere booster pack. Oh, yeah. Ripping once again. I think this is number 32, if I'm not mistaken. So these have not been kind to us. And after much therapy and much discussion with other people, and by discussion I mean crying and sobbing into a pillow. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so. It's an Imperial card, which means it's not a Tarkin Seeker. So. That in and of itself is a win for this video. All right, we're gonna get through our commons here. To X2 and hyperspace, hear me baby, hold together. Weird alien dude. What is that, Elor's Mock or something? Is that uh, counter assault, right? Little blaster rifle. All right, Jack Porkins on his little ejection situation. I got a problem here. We got Omni Box. We got one crazy devilish looking dude who's quite common. All right, I think now we're into the uncommons here. So we got Prophetess, the Lars Homestead. Okay, okay. Leia's back. Jack Porkins, the legend himself. That's a nice looking card, too. It might be grave worthy, friends. Alright. And... Oh, okay. Ooh. It's salt rifles. So this is the R2 one. This isn't the, the rare one. But um, I only have one of them, so this is definitely going into my second deck. Not awesome, not terrible, but uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Anyways, thanks for checking these out as always, friends. See you on the flip. Assault Rifle beats out a Tarkin Seeker any day. Let's get drunk. Star Wars CCG for life.